Welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. I'm your host, Big Jake 901 If you're interested in checking out any of my PC Building Simulator content or my YouTube channel, you can do so by going to the link down in the description. All right, without further ado, let's hop into this game. This is the very beginning. Let's take a look at what this has to say. It says, it's a new day in a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Read the note from Uncle Tim to find out more. All right, let's continue. Oh, the note is over here on the table. So I guess you've seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry, I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock, but I've got a meeting with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently, they think it might have been deliberate. What a crazy idea. Anyway, it's lucky I had this old place as a standby. I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire, and I've moved them here. You'll still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs. If the customers question the smoky aroma, just tell them you had to solder something. I also knew you'd need a shop computer, so I've sent one of mine over. It should have arrived by now. Check the delivery area at the back of the workshop. Fair warning, it doesn't work, but it might just need a new GPU, so I've sent one of those over too. The best money can buy. Anyway, get it fixed up, plug it in, and check your emails. You're welcome. Oh, I should also mention, I had to borrow $15 this morning for breakfast. If I've learned one thing in life, it's never meet with insurance agents on an empty stomach. Uncle Tim! So our old place burned down, but we've got this nice new, well, we've got another place <laughs> to work out of. Uh, Uncle Tim left us a nice coffee stain here too on this letter. So let's exit here. It says, let's get started. Walk over to the delivery boxes that are waiting for you at the back of the workshop and left click on them to pick them up. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Everything must go. I think everything's gone. <laughs> everything's gone all right so we've got some boxes here we've got a nice new maybe new to us i don't know it might be used rtx 3080 heck that's a nice gpu uncle tim sent us wow an nvidia geforce rtx 3080 let's not ask how uncle tim managed to get a hold of one of these now you just need the pc that he sent it should be somewhere in this corridor this is where pcs and cases are delivered and where you need to place pcs to return them to customers after completing a job all right, let's continue that. So, this must be our computer. Okay, it doesn't really look dusty. Might be nice. Might be nice. Looks like we need to come over here and set it down on this workbench. It says this PC needs to be fixed. Left click on the PC to put it into build mode. Okay, whoops. That was not left click. Okay, remove the side panel. Get these screws taken out. There we go. This PC is missing a GPU. Thankfully, you've just had a good one delivered. Let's install it to rebuild the PC. Okay, let's remove, let's remove the PCI lock. Whoops, I did not fully remove that screw. And the cover. There we go. Okay, graphics cards. Here it is, our RTX 3080. Now we just need to install the PCI lock. And we're gonna have a nice computer with a 3080. I wonder what processor's in this thing. One stick of RAM, okay. Time to cable it up. There we go. All nicely cabled. And then we just need to put the side panel on. And we've got a nice work computer with a 3080 that we will never need. We're checking emails, but we have it. But we have it. Your new PC is ready to go. Carry it to the workstation to your left and place it under the desk. Will do. There we go. There we go. Let's turn it on. All right, Omega System. Check in the email. Welcome to your email. This is where all your jobs, messages, and offers will arrive. Check it every day for new jobs to keep on top of your business. Okay, we've got six in the inbox. Select the email from Cassante and accept. Well, let's read through it first before we accept it. It says, greetings, my name is Cassante and I'm an urban aesthetic innovator, an artist. 
I'm currently working on an ambitious project about perceptions of danger, and I need my PC to be painted completely red to match the color of the rest of my room. Is this something you can do? Peace, Cassante. So we're gonna get 120 bucks to paint Cassante's case red. Let's accept it. Customers' PCs take a day to arrive, so it won't show up until you end the day. Okay. Okay, so do we need to do any other ones, or do we just need to do this one? Looks like we've already got five accepted jobs here. Let's take a look at what it's got here for us. Let's have a look at this one. This one says, hello, I went to get my PC fixed at your shop, but found only an empty space and a pleasantly smoky aroma. I gather that you're no longer in business at that address. A passing firefighter did tell me that you were opening a new workshop nearby, so I thought I'd drop you an email to see if you were still taking on repair jobs. My computer has been very slow lately, and I fear it might have a virus of some sort. Could you take a look and sort it out for me? Best wishes. G. Aubin. Okay, so we need to remove viruses from this one, and it seems like this one's already here. So it says when you're ready to begin the job, left click, go to the PC. So here it is. It, it magically appeared because it wasn't here. It was, it was not here when we got our business PC, but that's all right. So this pop-up says, let's see how to do a job and make some money. This customer's PC needs a virus scan, so take it to the workbench for a diagnosis. I also just noticed that we are minus $15 because Uncle Tim needed breakfast. <laughs> so we definitely need to get this job done so we're no longer in the negative. It looks like those are the other PCs that maybe we've already accepted jobs for. So we'll take a look at those at some point. But let's do this one. Let's do this one. This customer wants any viruses removed from their PC. You'll need to use a USB stick loaded with a virus removal software. Luckily, you have one in your inventory. So let's do this. We'll get this USB drive. We'll install it where they tell us to because it's a tutorial. And we're going to have to connect all these cables up. HDMI cable. We got the keyboard cable and the power cable. There we go. All right, power it up. Let's take a look at this monitor. And I'm sure it's gonna tell us what to do next. Let's open this up, add the virus scanning software. There we go. Close that out, open up the virus scanner, and we're gonna take a look and see how many viruses this thing has. 434, 434, probably not the worst, but you know, zero viruses would definitely be better. <laughs> So it says this scan has found lots of infected files. Left click the button to remove all the viruses from the PC. We're gonna get rid of all 434 of these viruses and this customer is gonna have a nice, clean, hopefully quicker PC to use. Great job, this job is complete. Okay, so exit this and it looks like everything's done. So we can go place this in the delivery area. It says you removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick the PC up with a right click and place it in the corridor. Okay, here we go to the corridor. There we go, great, the PC will be automatically sent back to its owner. Now you just need to collect your pay, go to email and hit collect. Will do, will do. Here is the email, here is the collect button. Let's do it, $120, now we're no longer minus 15. We are plus 105 bucks in our account. That is great. The PC is on its way back to the customer and you have been paid. On to the next job. The other PCs on the workbenches are now available. So check out your emails to see what the customers want and complete their jobs to earn some extra cash. But we definitely want to do that because we seriously are still hurting for cash. $105 is not enough to run a PC repair shop on. So let's go back to the inbox. I saw something from Uncle Tim right here. We've got an email from Uncle Tim. Let's see what he has to say in this one. It says, hey, if you're reading this, you got that old PC of mine up and running. I knew you could do it. So now you've got a new workshop and a computer, which means we're officially open for business. The only problem is money. Specifically, we don't have any. I'm sure you can make do for now, but if you really need cash, the bank might be able to set you up with a loan. Just don't push it, okay? They're already asking me awkward questions about what happened at the old workshop. I'm thinking a trip abroad might be in order. Good luck, Uncle Tim. P.S. I've posted you another little gift. Something to help organize things. It should arrive tomorrow, so keep an eye out. All right, Tim, we will definitely keep an eye out for whatever you sent us. Let's get rid of that email. Looks like we've unlocked some new parts as well. 
We've got some Team Group RAM, as well as a GTX 970 from MSI, and the NZXT H440 case by Razer. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so we've already done this one. Let's go ahead and delete that email. Let's do the next one in the row here for Rainbow Lights. It says, hello, I put orange LEDs on my computer to match my goldfish, but I've recently expanded my aquarium to include a variety of other fish, and now my PC no longer matches. Can you do rainbow lights? I'd like one of those nice walking effects, please. Thanks, Shawnee. So Shawnee's gonna pay us $220 just to set all the RGB lights to the rainbow effect and have that on walk mode. All right, let's go to the PC. Here it is right here. This is a very nice PC. Oh, this is the first one on this first workbench here. This is a very nice PC. This says, welcome to the lighting app. The lighting app allows you to create great effects on customers' PCs. For this job, the customer wants the light set to rainbow with a walk effect. So let's get started. Access the monitor to begin. Let's go over here to the monitor. We're gonna start up the lighting app. Then it says, select all. Okay. So then we've got an effects drop down here. We're gonna go to rainbow. And then we want it on walk. Congratulations, make sure to take the PC back to the delivery area and collect your rewards when you're ready. The lighting app can now be installed onto customers' PCs using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. Great, so now we have access to the lighting app and we can do this to anybody's PC. That is awesome, okay. So that is all done. Let's exit back out of this. And this is what the walking effect looks like. Super cool. I like it. Yeah, that is nice. Okay, so this thing is ready to go into the delivery area. And we should be able to collect some money. Possibly. Yes. Yes, we're all done with that one. Let's go ahead and collect it. We can get it out of the way and then we can move on to the next PC that we have sitting here waiting on us. Okay, let's get our $220. Very, very nice. All right, let's read this email. It says, Dear Sir Madam, here at the South World Country Club, we host a very popular cheese and land soiree every year, which sees our members face off against one another in classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Siblings. I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year I entirely owned the notoriously proficient Duke of Norfolk in the final match. I'm sure you can therefore understand why my personal computer needs to be in tip top shape. The GPU is fine. It should be as I paid upwards of $5,000 for it. Goodness gracious. But the CPU could use a little more oomph. If you could entice it to run faster, I'd be internally grateful. Yours in anticipation, Robert. All right, so Robert wants us to overclock his CPU to at least 4,313 megahertz. Let's go take a look at this PC and see what we can do. It says, welcome to overclocking a CPU. For this job, we need to overclock the customer's CPU, which means making the CPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cables to the PC and select the monitor to get started. All right, let's get these cables connected. We've got the mouse, the HDMI cable, the keyboard, and the main power. Perfect. Select the monitor. This says overclocking the CPU is performed in the PC's operating system or BIOS. To access the BIOS, you need to hit the F2 or delete key as it boots up. If you don't press one of the keys in time, then the PC will boot the OS as normal and you'll need to restart the PC to try again. Press P to power up the PC. All right, so we're gonna power it up, hold down the delete key, and we're gonna hop in to the BIOS here. Welcome to the BIOS. This is where you can see the PC's hardware settings and tweak them to add more power. For this job, we're going to overclock the CPU, so select the CPU OC tab. Let's overclock. This menu allows you to overclock the CPU by increasing the base clock and ratio. The voltage setting is used to stabilize the PC, but you need to be careful not to use too much or you could damage the CPU. The CPU speed shows how fast the CPU runs and is a function of the base clock times the ratio. So here it's 100 megahertz times 40 to give 4,000 megahertz. You can tweak either value to change the overall frequency, but normally you use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones. Increase the CPU core ratio to 
X44. This increases the CPU speed to 4400 megahertz. There we go. Increase the CPU's voltage to 1.35 volts. As the CPU runs faster, it requires more voltage to remain stable. But don't go too high or this may damage the CPU. So we're going to go to 1.35 volts. There we go. That looks good for a stable overclock. Click the settings tab so we can apply the new values. Left click the apply changes and restart option. Well, to apply the changes and restart the PC, note that if the PC can't boot because the settings are too high, then the machine will blue screen and restart itself to default settings. Well, we definitely don't want it to do that. So let's go ahead and confirm. We'll let this thing boot up and make sure that we don't blue screen. There we go. We need to open up OCCT. It says OCCT can be used to stress test a CPU and GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. A CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under load. All right, let's continue. Let's turn it on and let's wait for this stress test to complete. Hopefully we don't have any issues here. Currently it looks like our CPU temp is right under 60, well, right about 67 degrees Celsius, which should be just fine for this Intel CPU. This is an i3-8350K. I believe that's like two cores, four threads or something, isn't it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I know that it's kind of a pointless CPU to have though. <laughs> even though it's overclockable. This says congratulations, the CPU remained within its operating parameters in the test. This means it has a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. Take the PC to the delivery area and collect the payment from the email. Overclocking is complicated and you can damage your hardware if care is not taken with settings. We recommend you experiment with overclocking in the game to see how far you can push the limits. Remember to use OCCT to test the stability, which you can download using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. Great, okay. So this thing is done. This is done. We can go put this in the delivery area. Take a look at this. I like the colors. I like the colors where they're just slowly moving through the RGB spectrum. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Let's go put this in the back room back here and we should be able to collect some more money here we go and collect $320 profit can't beat that all right let's do this last one for this episode for water cooling and then in the next episode we'll end the day and move on with painting and whatever else comes in anyway this email says hi i'm currently water cooling my pc to cope with temperatures here in the forge but I'm nervous to do the GPU by myself. Seems very complicated. Could you please water cool my GPU and set up the loop for me, Donna? I think we can do that. Let's go to this PC. Here we go. So this says, this customer wants you to water cool their GPU and add it to their existing water cooled loop. To do this, we need to remove the GPU and add a GPU cooling block. Let's get started. Let's take this side panel off. Let's remove this PCI lock and the cables and then we can get this graphics card out of here let's say it's a 3090 very nice fancy graphics card move to the workbench next to you and add the water cooling block to the gpu so is it this one sure is okay let's get this gpu on the table it says now we have the gpu on the water cooling bench we need to add a gpu block to it first first of all we need to remove the screws and the heat sink Let's do it. Is there only four screws on this? Must be. Okay, so now we need to do thermal pads. Let's get these old bluish green ones off. And we'll get these new ones on that are kind of a coppery color. There we go. Okay, next we need to remove and replace the thermal paste. Thermal paste is an important part of PC building as it increases the efficiency of heat transfer between the CPU and its heat sink, helping to prevent the CPU from overheating. Make sure that you always refresh the thermal paste when working on a customer's PC. Will do. So let's grab one of these cotton buds and we're just gonna remove all this old thermal paste. There we go, nice clean GPU dye. Can't beat that. Let's get some of this. What is this, thermal grizzly? Some thermal grizzly. There we go. 
And lastly, we need the GPU block. So here it is, it's an EK Quantum Vector XC3 RTX 3080 DRGB Nickel Plexi Plus Backplate. Okay. Look at that nice thing. Let's get that installed. Get it all screwed down. And then we should be able to go put this in the customer's PC and pipe it into their existing water cooling loop. Look at that, that is so nice. All right, put it in the inventory. GPU's been successfully water cooled, so take it back to the PC on the other workbench and install it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Great, the GPU's ready to go back in the PC and become part of the water cooling loop to begin. Left click continue. So we're gonna install PC parts, graphics cards. We're gonna get their 3090 put back in here now that it's all nicely water cooled. Let's cable it up. There we go. And now it's time to pipe. It says we need to create a single loop to allow the water to flow around and cool all the water cooled components. So let's start here. Let's do that right here. There we go to here and here to here and here to here. Whoops, missed my click. Here to here and here to here. That is a full loop. Now we need coolant. It doesn't say what color they want. So maybe we'll just do some clear. Let's just do some clear coolant. Let that run through the system. Can't even see it going through the GPU. There we go. Coming back down here to the CPU block. And we're done. It says the GPU has been installed and is now part of the loop. Replace the PCI lock in the side panel. Make sure the PC can boot before you take it to the delivery area. Let's do it. PC parts, removed components. Let's get the PCI lock on here. And we'll go ahead and put the side panel on because I'm pretty sure that this thing is gonna be good to go. So let's cable it up, get everything plugged in, and that way we can start this up and make sure that it works. There we go, power, look at that. Look at that, I think we're gonna be just fine. Just fine. Very nice, very nice looking PC. Very, very nice. Okay, we're ready to collect some, where am I going? We're ready to collect some money for this one. Back here in the delivery area. And we are going to collect our $270 for this. There we go. There we go. Whew, just one last thing to do. Let's give your business a new name. Go back to the hallway and left click on the business name panel. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that one. This one's gonna come in for the next day, which will be the next episode. Tim's Red Hot Repairs. What do we want to name this? What do we want to name this? Let's uh, let's leave it Red Hot Repairs. But my name's Jake, so let's name it Jake's Red Hot Repairs. I can type my own name. There we go. Jake's Red Hot Repairs. Looks like you're now the proud manager of Jake's Red Hot Repairs. Don't worry, if you change your mind, you can rename your business at any time. That's everything for today. So go to the door in the hallway to continue. Okay, so we will do that in the next episode. We'll go turn off the lights and end the day. Let's come back out here. Let's take a quick look around this place right before I end this episode. Hopefully soon we'll get to fix it up. It's looking a little dingy, a little dingy, but we'll get there. Out here in the front, it's definitely... Uh, yeah, it needs a little fixing up. <laughs> it needs a little bit of fixing up. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and the thumbs down button if you didn't. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next episode.